Hello, so today I'm going to be talking about dermatophytes. So the infection is restricted to non-living layers due to the inability of fungi to penetrate deeper tissue. The disease varies in severity, um, virulence of the strain, location, and environmental factors affect this disease. So David Groby was the first to discover it. It was clinically discovered with microscopic detail. And then it was, this is when it was first established as contagious. Raymond modernized the current classification of dermatophytes, which is sexual reproduction of dermatophytes open studies for the fungi called pleomorphism. So what is the disease? It is a fungi that invades the keratinized tissue, such as skin, hair, and nails. Now we commonly know this as ringworm. What causes it? So dermatophytes are characterized by different species. These include Trichophyton, Microsporum, and Epidermorphyton species. Anamorphs is the home for these species and are classified as asexual or imperfect. So locations of this disease can be anywhere. It could affect anywhere in the body. That include the hair, skin, and nails. And this is usually referred to as tinea, which means location. Tinea barbe is the infection of the bearded of the beard area. Tinea capitis involves the scalp. Tinea corporis infection involves the trunk, shoulders, limbs, and can, can it be identified by scaly patches. Tinea cruis is infection of the groin. Tinea favosa is severe with presence of yellow crusts on your scalp. Tinea embratica is the chronic infection that specializes with manifestation of tinea corporis so it's a it's a more extensive severe infection tinea manum is infected of the hand and tinea pedia is also known as athlete's foot which affects the feet sole toes that causes peeling and fissuring and oftentimes scaling tinea corporis and tinea capitis this is Two different pictures of what they may look like and tinea can be throughout any part of the body. Symptoms usually begin between 4 and 14 days. It is now rare in the US but it is primarily found now in African communities. Those with underlying conditions may be more susceptible to contracting the disease so those people with HIV and AIDS it might be hard to cure this disease, but those who don't have HIV and AIDS, HIV and AIDS, um, you will have a more successful cure rate. Traveling puts people at risk and are exposed to different environments. Risk factors include a weak immune system, warm climate, and restrictive clothing. So ringworm affects 25% of the world annually with 690 hospitalizations in the U.S. and 400 or 4,981,000 outpatient visits. It is rare to see a death occur, however, serious complications can create a weakened immune system, such as if you have HIV. So how does the, does the condition work? So chromosomes are involved. It is clarified that virulence was independent of morphology and has a relationship with grow growth rate. Normal growth rates were considered virulent, whereas lower growth rates were considered avirulent. Skin-to-skin -skin contact are the mechanisms used that spreads ringworm from person to person, even if you touch an animal. So the incubation period, it varies depending on the severity, but usually between two and four weeks with treatment. The disease can last up to three months, but patients do not die. The illness can be cured. 
The disease usually appears as a rash and then it follows by itching, fissuring, scaling. Complications of the illness may lead to other bacterial infections which require treatment. The disease can be cured, however, living with the, 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 the disease is possible depending on the treatment and prevention. Diagnosis. Observing the lesion by disinfecting with alcohol and gauze, then sample is taken from clear to, to edge, crossing the lesion, then uses sterile scalpel blade. For heavily infected hairs or lesions, a wood light is used. Black paper is typically used to allow visualization of the skin. Microscopic KOH, KOH examination is taken as well as a culture. Cultures are taken for direct, direct microscopy. A fungicide, cleohexamide, is used as a semi-selective agent reducing the growth of dermatophytes. Now there is a dermatophyte test, alkalinity by dermatophyte growth, looking for a collection change to red using phenol red indicator. Identification characters, pigmentation, texture, growth rate, and structures. And then there's the confirmatory test, which determines the development of dermatophytes. Treatment. Treatments are given through antifungals or oral medications. However, the best option to use is a prescribed oral medication. So these are some non-prescription medications. Um, Trabinafine, myconazole. Um, these are antifungals. They don't take the infection away at all. They do help a little, but it'd still be there. The prescriptions, um, Grio, Griseofulvin, Terbinafine, Fluconazole are antibiotics that are given. Prevention, infections um, must be taken into consideration. You can perform inspections on your own body. Good hygiene, disinfecting clothing, towels, bedding after use, sanitation, not sharing things. Um, so within the next few years, the relationship between species could be identified as some species may be reduced sooner. Um, it is rare to see a person living with ringworm and it is not curable. These African countries lack resources and continue to struggle with curing ringworm due, due to this issue. This persistence relies greatly on social economic epidemicity. Um, Intraconazole and terbinafine have been successful to increase cure rates of the disease. Further studies are being done to discover more antibiotics and more antifungals that fight against this disease, and hopefully antifungals will be as effective as an antibiotic that is prescribed by your doctor. Thank you.